those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the above, they go down to the above. Okay, this video is to tell you how I go about covering the aileron, right? And I just sort of put in view of the camera because I've only got myself here. Uh, the tools I use, what you need, really. Um, basically, I use two scalpels, one for cutting the lengths of the film and then the other ones for doing the detailing. Obviously a sharp pair of scissors, that's a must. The heat gun, if you've got one, that's handy. If not, you have to use the iron, which is here. And I use a digital iron and I'll try and get that in the camera. And I, I don't know if you'll see the setting on there, but it's set at 120 degrees or whatever you want to call it, centigrade. Uh, basically, that settings for this film is Hobby King film. So it's uh, no, it's prone to have the, the drawback on it, which is where it shows the glue after you've done it. So I get it at 120 seems to be the average temperature, the best one I've used it at. So other people might find it different, but that's that's it. So let's get rid of these things out of the way for now. So, so it's rather black play. So if I keep it in the camera as best I can, so to get your measuring, this happens to be the right width. So I just tend to, because you're doing this, I'm doing this later on all in one. Let's go. So instead of it, because it's one colour of plane, the whole plane's one colour. So I basically do it this way. I mean, there's other people do it differently, but this is how I do it. So I put the wheel on it, and I just go like that. It's only a rough thing. You get your ruler. So it's still in there, yeah. Okay, that's only a holder film because it does your own. Right, it doesn't matter if it's an off cut. It's basically, let's go normal again. Okay, stage one is this. Move the back and stuff. This is not going to be easy to do, you keep it in the video. <laughs> This is quite a basic thing really. Well it's got its own fold, I tend to say it's sitting in its fold like so. Right. So we've got it in like that. So it's still in the video yet. Right. But obviously make sure you've got enough room to cover it all, which is obviously enough there. Alright. That's how we get it here. Alright, the thing to do as well is make sure make sure you're doing the bottom first so I'll just check because of the cuts one sec so put the bottom in first so you and I have to check things they're not perfect look at it in the video it's not going to be easy I apologise if I go out of the video but I mean it's just the way it is so and we'll just tack this on. Nice yellow, isn't it? Oh, you won't see, you can fly this in the dark. <laughs> so that's the yellow. So that's on there. That's the yellow one, so it's just six there. Right. So it's like pinkles. That's that. Right, so we've got that one. Now, what I'm trying to do is here. It's better to keep it on the camera. There you go, so it's nice and warm. See, this temperature's really good. Don't let like the glue draw back. Okay. And then, let's wrap it again. See, so you get it nice, tight all there. Alright. So you got like that. Is it still in there? No. So I've wrapped it now, so it's just like wrapping a present, I suppose. And then just tack it along the edges. Okay. 
on it. I'm trying to look at the monitor on the camera as well. Let's do this. this is it. So I'm not to burn yourself, he says. Right, so we've got that there. Right, we don't want to let's keep it in the camera. So now we're going to try and tack it in. Tack it there to give you a start. Right. My hand's in the way now, isn't it? When I'm rich and famous, I'm going to employ a camera person all the time. Mm -hmm. me, and so. He's just stacking it now, so that I've got a, a little bit of cut. Right, my hand's in the way, isn't it? So, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just tacking the end of the aileron, so you've got it nicely all there. Okay, so you got that. Right, that's now tacked. It's tacked both sides. Now what I would do is get rid of this excess trim here. So there's two ways to do this, but I'm going to just, for the sake of the camera, I'm just going to do it on here. Just leave a little bit over the edge so that it bends around the bottom end of the aileron. Not too much, because you don't want it overlapping. That's that. It's nice. And this side. So it's about f three mil. So you see, we've now got the, that little bit of lip left over. Okay. Look at that. All right. So then we just heat some. So the edge is there. You just tack over the edge. See, everything. That's why you do it in the middle. No one's going to see it there because it'll be on the aeroplane itself on the wing. So that's, that's nice. Make sure it's solid enough. Okay. Well, you can fast forward this if you don't get bored. So we got the major bit now on. So now what I tend to do is tap the ends on the camera. Find the ends there, just tap it. This way sharp scissors come in handy. So we've got scissors. Alright, so if I can get it in there, so trim the end, the edge bit there, one there, turn it around. Trim the, so you've got a making V's, let's say. Same there, same so Two cuts there, one there, one there. Shows the end there. I think you can see it. There's a little bit on the end there. So that goes down first. So it's in the way. And that's down there. Okay. You just keep checking it and take your time. So, so it's there, see? 
Is that fine? Same thing this side. Same process this side, so trim it down. Peel it back. Hold it a bit in there. So you've got them on now. So as you can see, on there it's all on now, right? So I did it up a bit. We did it after. Now we get the fun bit. Right. So that that there is roughly covered, so obviously it needs heated up now. So just in case you haven't got an iron, uh, a gun, you can do it with the iron, but just let it float over. Don't press down on it, because if you press on it, you'll get the creases, and that's what you don't want. So just let the heat do the uh, work, basically. So we'll do one side with the iron. It'll take ages with this, because the heat's not enough. Hopefully a gun is about there. But I tend to use the gun, then use the iron afterwards, which I'll show you on the other way, on the other side. Of me. Right, so we've got it. So it's just getting there now. You see, it's getting there. Right, so so we use the heat gun now. The heat gun. Don't try not to stay in one place at one time. There's two settings on this, high and low. And just, uh, You'll see the creases and that, it will come out eventually. If you leave it on too long, it'll burn through the plastic and you don't want that. Not by a long shot. Right, so. There you go. You go. So one aileron. Oh, I'm trying to get it in the bloody camera. There you go. One aileron. Okay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is basically how you do it with these. But I'm thinking you know, I'm going to go through them all because obviously, I mean, you can always don't have to watch them if you don't want to. But uh, example, because everything's got a different way of covering things. So as I go through each part of the plane when I put them on, I'll uh, show you how these go if that helps. So it's one aileron, and there's the other aileron. One I made earlier. So you've got your two radar on. So the next stage, obviously, then is to cover the bottom wing. Uh, yeah, one wing. There's only one wing on this one. I'm used to making biplanes, so, and triplanes, so. So that's that for this video. I hope that helps. Any comments, please leave below. I'm um, more than welcome to answer as many as I can if I get them. Uh, okay, then. Right then, cheers. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, magnificent men, oh, magnificent men.